Hello wonderful people and welcome to day three of the Cow Dev Award Adventure. We're right now inside the hall. Um Honorable Bob Dele Salam is giving us an introduction into the program. That will empower you to run a race. So this is me about to take my speech. The youngest um, in the world, which is by AWS. And what was literally my secret? So a lot of people um, think coding is uh, hard. As it is difficult as other things in life. Um, as much as speaking is difficult, um, writing is difficult, um, poetry is difficult, anything has their difficulties. It's all about how you channel your energy to be able to defeat that difficulty, which is through knowing and getting knowledge. Um, the best way to demystify programming is by learning it. If you don't learn it at first, um, you'll be able to know what to even do, to even understand the concepts that are in programming. Which is a lot of people right here have never conquered that barrier. Like I met some friends who are already into game development, and that's because they have been able to conquer that barrier, which is coding is hard, I can't do it, and it back up. Um, most people, they said, uh, go and write an exam, you'll be afraid to. But you have to because it's part of your, your curriculum. It is hard, it is challenging. Probably if you didn't read, it would be very tasking. But you have to do it because it's a barrier you have to conquer before you get to the next level. And so I really don't really have too much to say because I would say I'm like a special, very intelligent. I'm sorry, I would be very more, more intelligent than me. And I don't really, it's not really about my intelligence, it's about pushing my work forward and conquering that barrier. And concrete barriers is what I currently do every day. So as I conquer another barrier, which was car computing. Car computing, many of you don't know, there's never been no car computing. It's a fairly new space, um, which, uh, which developed notoriety in 2009 um, with the introduction of the business AWS platform. So the cloud computing is a very new space, and the reason why I was able to get in is because I saw that okay, this place was um, was a new field, and it was a, it was a good career to go through. So I passed it, and I conquered that barrier. It's always about conquering barriers wherever you are, wherever you go. And I always preach the tech um tech gospel that go into tech, that technology, because in anything you're going to do, you're going to you want to need technology, you want to be political, you have to know technology, and that is. Really, what I want to say, and I hope you guys succeed in all of your endeavors. And thank you. Yeah, so right now I'm answering some questions about, you know, my presentation, about my tech journey. And they were very insightful questions, um, which I enjoyed answering. I made several mistakes, and so I made several mistakes when it comes to learning coding. So that's why I'm here so you don't make the same mistakes. Coding is not about memorizing. That's where you get wrong. The, so my diary member cannot really memorize what's going on in coding. Most people can't memorize the code. It's all about learning the concept. Anybody who understands the fundament fundamentals, which is the most important thing, if you understand the fundamentals of something, you will be able to learn that thing to master it. So, um, you know, it's not like you, it's like learning a language. But these things that you have to know how to apply that language to create something. So, is it as hard as anything? No, it's not as hard as that. I would say that it is hard because she was doing a coding program. It was like a basic Microsoft Word, maybe some Scratch. Does anybody know what Scratch is? Right now, I'm just setting up a you know, the environment on my laptop for my presentation coming up. Oh, okay, so this is one of the other awardees. Uh, she's a gymnast. And she's won several competitions and she was just showing us some of her amazing skill. I even asked her, how do you do these things? I was very confused. <laughs> I, I mean, the, the amount of strength it takes to do that is really crazy. Just enjoy some of her gymnastics. This is another exhibition. I think they use they use um waste to power to create energy like fire. So this is me answering some you know civic questions. This is another one of the awardees. 
and this is me taking a picture with the wonderful gymnast so this is my own exhibition i worked on a book the name of the book is coding made easy it's a step-by-step instruction based book that teaches you how to build your first website good news the book is out now so if you're interested in the ebook you can reach out to me in the comments this is me snapping with the tech bros you know the tech g's so this is another wonderful presentation by a saxophonist, a young saxophonist. Also there with the dance squad and I did a really wonderful presentation. Another choreography team doing their own dance, very wonderful. Right now, right after the program, we went on a field trip to explore Jabi Lake, which is an artificial lake pumped with gallons of water. Very amazing. I thought it looked like a lagoon, but when I realized the history behind it was very insightful. So yeah. We so right after, we went into the Jabi Lake Shoprite Mall. All right, this is us doing our, you know, our chants. Ex excellent leaders. <laughs> Call them Africa, excellent leaders. <laughs> so this is uh, me entering the store and the rest of Kaldev. Oh, we flooded the store. It was like it was like a, a, a parade. <laughs> I mean, they were they could have been wondering what are hundreds of kids doing just walking around in the mall. It was very, it was a nice experience. And yeah, that brings me to the end of this day three adventure. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you had a lot of excitement and fun. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and bye.